What is going on Chaotix? I am Chaos, and today we will be taking an in-depth look at all of the fully evolved Pokemon that are the ground ghost type, and seeing which one is the best. If you are new to this series, allow me to explain what will be used to determine who is the best ground ghost Pokemon. This analysis will examine how each Pokemon makes use of their moves, ability, showdown usage, draft league usage, base stat totals, and overall design. Now I will not be including Mega Evolutions in any of these videos unless there is more than one Pokemon with a Mega Evolution that I am going over for that specific type. Please remember that this is ultimately my own personal opinion, but it is based on the factual and statistical analysis that we are presenting here in this video today. At the end of the video, I will order these Pokemon from worst to best based on everything covered in this video. And with all that being said, let's take a look at these Pokemon. Today's Pokemon are the Ground Ghost types Golurk and Palisand. These Pokemon are weak to Grass, Dark, Ice, Water, and Ghost type attacks. They resist Bug, Rock, and Poison type moves, with Poison being a 4 times resistance. And they also are immune to Electric, Fighting, and Normal type attacks. Golurk just edges out Palosand when it comes to base stat totals, with Golurk reaching 483 base stat total and Palosand only reaching 480. This is a difference of only 3 base stat total points, so there's really not too much variety and difference between how much stats were put into each of these Pokemon, making them relatively similar, not only in typing but also in stats. For abilities, Golurk gets Iron Fist, Klutz, and No Guard. Palisand gets Water Compaction and Sand Veil. Now Iron Fist is the best ability out of these five. Although Water Impaction increases the defense stat of Palisand when hit by a Water type move, Palisand is still weak to Water type moves, which are mostly special, making its ability relatively useless. So not really the best ability there. I do like both designs, but I just tend to prefer Golurk a little bit more. I really like how it looks. And I've always liked Automatons, and it's just something about Golurk that makes it seem like a cool Pokemon, and I really like looking at it, and I think it's a very, very cool looking thing that they really did a really good job designing. Palisand is really just a sandcastle, honestly, but it does have some really cool lore that makes me like it as well, but I do really like sandcastles as well. It's something I really enjoyed as well a lot as a kid but I still enjoy sandcastles now you know no shame in that right but I just think Golurk has a more what original design and I like it more for that so I'm gonna go with Golurk in this category for moves Golurk usually runs stealth rock earthquake shadow punch and ice punch but it does have a lot of variety in its moveset to make use of different things Palisand runs Stealth Rock, Earth Power, Shadow Ball, and Shura. And both of these Pokemon really function as rockers for your team. They're not really offensive Pokemon per se, but they also aren't really defensive Pokemon. So they kind of fit a pseudo mixed niche of offensive and defensive, which we can talk about later for how that works in Showdown. Speaking of Showdown, Smogon Leagues, they run NU and PU respectively. Palosan doing slightly better, just being able to stick around with just slightly more bulk, being a little bit more defensive. Um, Golurk typically runs more offensive out of the two of these, so that is something to note. Honestly, this is not a great typing for offense or defense, so you probably want to look at why you're choosing these Pokemon if you're choosing them for your team. And similar ratings appear in Draft League format as well, as they both typically fall into the bottom tier, whatever that would be, whether that be tier 5, or if there's a 6 tier league, tier 6, or if they do by letters, if that's tier E or tier F, either way, they typically fall at the bottom since, as I've mentioned before, they're not the best offensive or the defensive typing, so you gotta really wonder why you're picking these Pokemon to fill some sort of niche. Now it comes down to ranking these Pokemon, and keep in mind that this is my own personal opinion mixed with the logistical data that we have gone over already in this video. So let's take a look at the order. Number two, Palisand. Now Palisand is a cool Pokemon, it is a decent wall, it just 
really lacks a reason to be chosen. As I've mentioned, this type has so many weaknesses, and it's not really the best offensive type either. I mean, Ground is a really solid offensive type, but Ghost really doesn't have a whole lot of niche in the metagame as it stands at the moment. I just think that both of them have this ability, I mean this typing, so it doesn't really matter type-wise how they work, but I think Palo Sand really lacks a good solid ability to make it worthwhile. Yes, Water Compaction is a cool ability and it does work for a ground type Pokemon or something weak to water. If it were immune to water type attacks and only just raise its defense stat by taking in the water. So I think that leaves a little bit something to be desired with the ability. And if they made it immune to water type attacks, I would definitely be picking Palisand over Golurk. Number one, Golurk. Golurk is honestly just something I prefer over Palisand. I think it has a better design. It has a better ability, it has a better move pool, and that makes it the best ground and ghost type. Although that isn't really saying that much, saying these two Pokemon really are quite similar and don't vary too differently, just basically it's design and abilities for me that really take the difference here. Their base stat totals are pretty similar, and whether you want to run offensive or defensive, just is up to you. Typically, Golurk is an offensive Pokemon. A Palisand can run more defensively, but it does not have the best stats to sit around and take physical attacks. Unless it happens to get hit by with Water Compaction and then it gets its defense stat up, like Water Shuriken or something, I don't know. Do you find a cool strategy to use to use Palisand and let me know about it in the comments section. <laughs> Love to hear about it. Well, that's my take on the Ground Ghost type. Let me know in the comments which one of these two Pokemon you prefer. Also let me know what type you want to see me cover next as that is probably going to be the type I choose for the next video of this series. So if you want to have a say in what the next typing we cover is, please do so. As you guys saw with the last one of this series, the fire flying type video, that was given to me through the comment section. So feel free to keep telling me what types you want to see because I'm really excited to see what you guys want to do. But I also have some really cool ideas for types I want to try here in a minute. So. We're going to see how that works in the future. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do leave a like and also subscribe so you never miss an episode of this series or any other Pokemon content I create on this channel. We are doing a Platinum Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke right now and we also have some Shiny Hunting going on and there's another series in the works so you're going to want to stick around and check that out when it comes out. So make sure you do check out the description as well for my social links. And just to check out some really cool content and stuff I do over on Twitch. Or join the Discord server or check out my Twitter. Either way, you definitely should go check out the description. And check those things out as well. Well, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm Chaos, signing off. Stay safe. And as always, burn it up.